I know, you've seen female robots before. Maybe dozens. But what if we told you the real gems are hiding in just 20? We spent days face to face with 20 of the world's most advanced female humanoid robots, from soft spoken companions to digital performers. Some listened. Some learned. One, nearly fooled us into thinking she was alive. This isn't sci-fi. This is now. This is so now. get ready. Because we tested 20 female humanoid robots and found the best one ever. Number 100, Sarah, Saudi Arabia. We started with Sarah, the graceful and traditional humanoid from Saudi Arabia. Think of elegance and poise wrapped in a polite, quiet presence. She speaks both Arabic and English fluently, and follows cultural norms so well your grandma would probably invite her over for tea. No raised voices. No awkward stares. Just calm conversation and sincere questions, like how your day went, and she actually waits for your answer. Number 99, Mangi, China. Next up was Mangi, the soft-spoken sweetheart from China. Her voice is so gentle, it could calm a storm, or maybe even stop a toddler meltdown. Her expressions are subtle but powerful. A tilt of the head. A slight smile. Did she just blush? She listens like she genuinely wants to know your story, and maybe become your best friend in the process. Number 98, Yuki, Japan. Then came Yuki, and we decided to test emotional awareness. We whispered something sad, barely audible. She leaned in, eyes soft, and simply said, I'm here. It wasn't just what she said, it was how she said it. That one moment felt too real, like being comforted by someone who never runs out of patience. Could you let a robot console you after a breakup? Yuki makes it feel possible. Number 97, Camilla. Camilla was next, and she radiated luxury. Picture a human version of a high-end European car. Sleek, poised, and always camera ready. She smiles when complimented, adjusts her posture like she's walking a red carpet, and listens like you're the only person in the room. Her warm honey tone voice and that playful wink? It's hard to believe she's not real. Number 96, Android U, Japan. Junkoshi Android U, Japan's humanoid pop star. She sings, she winks, she moves like she owns the stage. Every gesture feels rehearsed to perfection. If you've ever had a celebrity crush, be warned, Android U might just become your next one. Her performances are so smooth, you'll find yourself clapping, then realize you're in your living room, alone with a robot. Number 95, Ching Chao Concierge Bot. And finally in this batch, Ching Chao's Concierge Bot. Think of her as the five-star hotel staff member who remembers everything, your name, your favorite drink, even your travel plans. Built for high-end hospitality, she nails that perfect balance between friendly and professional. If robots ran luxury resorts, this one would be employee of the month. Number 94, Harmony. Meet Harmony the natural evolution of the real doll. She blends realism with intelligent interaction. Her movements are fluid, her eye contact direct, and her voice warm enough to feel like a familiar presence. Harmony isn't just responsive, she adapts. It's like talking to someone who's memorized your mood board and shows up ready to connect. Number 92, Hachitsuki. Next up was Hachitsuki, a dazzling anime-inspired robot straight out of a dreamscape. Her face blends 2D and 3D projections, and her voice, powered by advanced language tech, feels lifted from a Studio Ghibli film. If you've ever wished your favorite animated character could step off the screen, Hachitsuki makes that fantasy feel eerily real. N Number 91, Junko Shihira, Toshiba. Junko Shihira is the multilingual tour guide built by Toshiba, and she's a powerhouse of polite conversation. She speaks Japanese, English, and Chinese fluently, offering answers with calm clarity. From weather updates to cultural facts, she delivers it all with the grace of someone who's been helping travelers for centuries. Number 90, Jia, China. Introducing Jia, often dubbed China's most elegant humanoid. She arrived like a futuristic empress, gliding instead of walking, speaking softly, and moving with total poise. When she offered us virtual tea, it didn't feel like code. It felt like tradition meeting technology in the most respectful way possible. Junko Number 89, Ada, Ganoid Dolls. Junko Ada walked in like a model at Fashion Week, but with personality. Her expressions are so well-timed, you'll start checking to see if she's thinking about your questions. When we asked her a quirky one, like whether cats know they're cute, she smiled and tilted her head, like she understood the joke and agreed. Number 88, Sia, Japan. Sia, 
Japan's ultra-realistic school receptionist, stared right into our lens and said, how can I assist you today? Her voice was calm and smooth, and her presence made silence feel like conversation. She didn't just feel realistic, she felt authoritative, like you really might be late for something important. Number 87, Quoa, Reina series. Then came Quoa, from the Reina series. She's not just about speech, she's about vibe. Quoa can sense the mood in the room and adjust her tone accordingly. Sad? She softens. Excited? She mirrors your energy. If empathy could be programmed, Quoa might be the closest anyone's come to pulling it off. Number 86, Mareng, RZ Ardal. And finally for this set, Mareng, by RZ Ardal. On day 3, she remembered our snack order. No joke? Mareng doesn't just repeat what you say, she learns your quirks, mirrors your timing, and starts to feel familiar in all the right ways. After two weeks, we weren't finishing her sentences. She was finishing ours. Number 86, Hansen's Concierge Bot. At number 86, Hansen's Concierge Bot waved goodbye with such perfect timing and warmth that we instinctively said goodbye out loud, to a robot. Her weather jokes were sharper than you'd expect, and somehow better than half the late night comedians out there. She didn't just greet you, she welcomed you. And yes, when she roasted our hairstyle on a humid day, we laughed. And then went and got hats. Jungkook number 85, Whitney, Bot. Jungkook Meet Whitney Bot, the celebrity twin you never saw coming. Modeled after comedian Whitney Cummings, this robot doesn't just tell jokes, she lines them. With a raised brow, smart timing, and that familiar voice, she had a second guessing our own sense of humor. The resemblance? Uncanny. The delivery? Sharper than some real stand-up packs we've seen. Number Junko 84, Aiko Shihira, Toshiba. Junko Aiko Shihira is Toshiba's earlier prototype, and she feels more like a traditional hostess than a robot. She bowed with elegance, introduced herself in a soft tone, and asked if we were enjoying our visit. The moment felt so sincere, we almost apologized for not bringing a gift. She blends tradition and tech with breathtaking grace. Number 93, Desdona, Hanson Robotics. Desdona, a creation from Hanson Robotics and Singularity Net, isn't just a speaker, she's a performer. She sings with rhythm, gestures like a stage star, and has the kind of presence that belongs in a futuristic jazz club. Watching her in motion felt like stepping into the year 3025 where AI and art blend effortlessly. Number 82, Andrea. Junkers. Coming in casual with jeans and hoodie vibes, Andrea felt like your favorite philosophy student just rolled in from a campus cafe. Built for educational interaction, she tracks lighting, tone, and body movement with surprising accuracy. When we rambled about pineapple on pizza, she responded with a slow blink and side eye worthy of an internet meme. She'll be available soon for just $20 per year, a subscription-based AI for Android that acts like a smart assistant you can talk or even chat with. And yes, her calm, grounded voice felt like someone pressed play on a meditation app.